Hello Muggle, today we're going to be discussing the crit cap, or lack thereof. This is a topic I've been wanting to talk about pretty much since the game launched, I just kept not getting around to it. But whatever, here we are today. We're getting super close to that magical 169k subscriber goal, would be amazing if you subscribed. Some sacrilegious percent of you aren't subscribed, so what are you waiting for? It's free, you can unsubscribe anytime you want to. So we will be using our beloved Kaching for this test, and basically the first thing to do is simply get her crit rate up to maximum. We're not too far away at the moment, but yeah, we're basically just going to feed her as much crit rate as possible, which basically just means changing this out for our crit rate helmet. That's a pretty good start. Almost there, right? 95.2%. And I guess we're going to go ahead and give her this Gladiator's Longing here. Now, obviously, her set is a bit more broken. We do still have Gladiator there, but the uh, Thundering is gone. And also, I think her attributes are not going to be that great. Yeah, we have 1700 attack. 106.8 crit rate. I actually, for some reason, didn't think it'd go above 100. Like, what's the point? You have 100 crit rate, right? But okay. We have 106 crit rate now, 121 crit damage. Actually, the stats aren't as bad as I thought. We are going just purely for the highest crit rate possible, and uh, that's what we can achieve. So... We're gonna go find a ruin guard. Here's one over here in some ruins, which is rather fitting, cause you know. So basically what we're looking for is all the same size numbers. We're, don't look at the numbers specifically, they're not going to be that great. But the same sized numbers. So yes, th those are all criticals. We're gonna see if it's possible to not critical. I mean, I'd be very surprised if we did see a non-critical here. And it looks like we are actually not seeing a non-critical, so. Yes, you can actually have 100% crit rate. There was a lot of debate going on early in the game, although I guess most of that has been, you know, decided already that there is in fact not an actual crit cap. You can crit 100% of the time if you have the crit rate for it, but, but here's the thing, just because there's not a literal crit cap doesn't mean that you should actually try and get 100% crit. And there are many reasons for this. For example, let's go ahead and do Kaching's Q. You can see we now have 121.8% crit. This is obviously even more useless than 106% crit. When we're talking about Kaching specifically, she has a talent where when casting Star Wars Sword, her crit rate is increased by 15%. She has a cooldown of 12 seconds and this crit boost lasts 8 seconds, so she will have it most of the time. So for Kaching and other characters who have some kind of crit rate boosting abilities, 85 for her and maybe higher or lower for some other ones is going to be completely useless. And then for example we have other things that boost crit rate. To see that we have to kill this ruin guard though. For example having two cryo in your team. If they're frozen or affected by cryo the crit rate against them is boosted by 15%. So again that 85 cap is kind of true for some cases. Then we have this still somewhat new set where you know your crit rate can be boosted up to 40%. Do you know what gun you with this uh, four piece blizzard strayer's effective crit rate is? Only a little bit more than this pathetic number. She gets up to 40% from the blizzard strayer set, 20 more percent for her frost flake errors which are her biggest source of damage, and an additional 15% from having a second cryo in your team. Of course, this is all ideal situations, but it's not too hard to force ideal situations, granted you have a uh, water unit in your team. We currently don't, but if I was going to main Ganyu for something specifically, you know, I'd throw Mona in there and take d look out. And then, you know, we could throw like Venti in there or whatever. So we have easy access to Frozen, we have damage amps from Venti and Mona, we have a healer from Chi Chi, and the Resonance of course. And that's a solid team. Granted, these are four or five stars, so it's not some sort of team building guide for Ganyu. All of a sudden, we're still talking about crit here. I was just demonstrating how it's not just theoretical. She really can have 25% crit rate and never miss a crit. And we haven't even talked about food yet. Delicious Adeptus Temptation. Crit rate boosted by 12%. And let's say you're only going for uh, delicious jade parcels, for example. It's still a 10%, which is an easier number, so let's go with that. That literally reduces everyone's crit rate by 10% right there. So it's like, why ever build more than 90%? Of course, the game's current hardest content right now is Abyss, and you're not allowed to use food there, which is always a consideration. But we have already had some very difficult content where food was allowed, aka this cube event hypostatic symphony I think it was called and um, yeah and I'm sure we'll get a lot more difficult 
content in the future where maybe you are allowed to use food. Besides that, unless you're some kind of luck god, there's no way you can effectively get close to that 85-90% crit rate cap while maintaining good crit damage and a decent attack, I suppose. That's just not possible. The general rule of thumb when it comes to crit rate, crit damage is to have about twice as much crit damage as crit rate. I've preached this quite a lot and I tend to try and follow it myself as much as I can as you can see from our amazing Mona here. To be fair I was just trying out my new Skyward Atlas which I randomly pulled, she usually had Solar Pearl, which when we put that on, you know, very close. Mona might be a special case since she hits once with her ult and if that doesn't crit it's gonna be a lot less so maybe you wanna mix and match that or just not even try crit rate. Again it's just a general rule of thumb and as we discussed with Ganyu, that thumb can be broken at multiple joints. Just for the sake of it, we will get her to as close to a flat 100% as possible, just in case there are some weird weird things going on. I haven't looked into all the ones and zeros when it comes in into stuff like this, so I'm, j I'm just trying to cover all my bases here. So we should only be seeing criticals again, which those are. Going to hit a few more times just to make absolutely sure there's not some weird variables. And I want to get her a tiny bit below 100 as well, just to make sure everything works as it should. But yeah, those are all definitely crit rates. I mean crits. Now we have 99.8%. It's going to take a long time to find a non-critical. And so the, the journey begins. Let's see if we can get a critical before he dies or before we die. There was no criticals from that one, but thankfully we have another one over here. The search for a non-critical. I mean, maybe there was one and I just didn't didn't see it. Uh, okay, um, I think, uh, I don't know. I mean, 99.8% means only one out of 500 attacks are going to be a non-critical, so, uh, <laughs> I, I think we're gonna lower it a little bit more. All right, now we have a flat 99. Let's go look for another Ruin Guard. This is only one out of every hundred attacks now. Yes, this is how I do science, with, with, with real experiments, not with numbers or theoreticals. Two fifty-five. I saw it. I saw it. Yes, that seems about right. Okay, so you can more or less trust the number. We figured it out. We're geniuses. <laughs> and I would say the last thing we have to do is get the most crit rate we possibly can. And unfortunately, I don't think Blizzard Strayer's massive forty percent bonus here actually boosts your crit rate. It just boosts your attacks crit rate. So. It wouldn't really show up in stats. This is for the thumbnail, by the way, just to have a high flashy number. I also don't think Ganyu would get that actual 20% boost uh, when, when, when using a Frostflake arrow, but we'll check it out. Nah, her crit rate doesn't change. However, shown previously, Kaching's crit rate actually does increase in the stats page when doing a Star Wars sword because of her uh, talent here. Doesn't seem like any other of my characters, at least, actually increase their own stat crit rate. Besides Kaching, some others increase crit rate on certain things, but looks like she's gonna be our go-to girl, as usual. And uh, yeah, okay, let's see what we can do here. I think what we had before actually was pretty much the maximum we can have. There is the Berserker set, which increases your crit rate by, I think, 12% was it? But that wouldn't make up for the subsets we lose on our two worst pieces. Uh, our Sans is only 5.4 at max. That's the most crit rate I have on any Sans, which I think found pretty crazy, realizing that. Apparently I just don't raise that many, and the ones I do raise don't have crit rate on them. But then our next lowest is 10% on the goblet, and together that's like 16%, so fully raised berserkers, granted they have a crit rate stat, would be more, but even if I had berserkers, I wouldn't raise them just for that. So yeah, that 106.8, are we really gonna waste a delicious Adeptus Temptation for 2% more crit rate over these four star jade parcels? Actually, I've never actually tried if these stack. I can't imagine they do, but they are different foods. Even though I'm sure this information is widely available, I, I like to figure things out myself, so... That hurts, using both of them. We had 106.8. <laughs> Let's check. Oh no! And we only got the 10% from the Jade Parcel, so the Jade Parcels count cancelled the delicious Adeptus Temptation. 
This is sad. Whatever, with our ult, we're going to be over 130, and I think that's fine. There we go, 131. I don't care that it's not 133. I guess. But yeah, that'll pretty much do it for today's video. In summary, there's not a literal crit rate cap, but in many cases, there is a hypothetical or effective crit rate cap that you just shouldn't go over due to certain things like food, talents, cryo resonance, so on and so forth. And also you just generally shouldn't have that high of a crit rate anyway because then you're lacking on other stats like crit damage. What's the point of having a high crit rate when the actual crits are hitting like wet noodles? Again, this is where the rule of thumb comes into play. But yeah, not much else to say. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you definitely do enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks as always for watching and until next time.